So back to school 2020. Well, I guess kind of, right? Not really sure, are we going to school or not going to school? And I came up with three different tips that you can use this year to get the most out of the year. Because again, it is going to be a year like nothing else that any of us have ever experienced before. So I wanted to give you a special perspective from a teacher as well as somebody that teaches online for what you as a student should be doing to have a great year. So you ready to learn a little more? Let's do it. So the first tip I would recommend would be to plan. And what I mean by plan is planning ahead. Plan when you're gonna get your work done. Plan when you have tests, quizzes, and assignments are going to be due. Now, coming from a student that would never write anything down and would not care about deadlines, because what did I rely on? I just relied on seeing my friends the next day in school and I would ask questions of, hey, when is this due? Or when do we have to turn that in again? All those little questions I just didn't care much about because I knew there was other people that were going to do that for me. But a student like me nowadays would be completely lost because now that ability to rely on when things are due, the communication is on you, the student. Everything is online, especially if you're are not in the classroom full time. It is your expectation to know when things are due, when you need to get things done. And also, if you have one of those teachers that just likes to give you a whole bunch of stuff because it's distance learning, then you need to be able to understand how much time to devote to that particular course, class, or assignment. And yeah, it can be really confusing. One of the big problems my students let me know about last year was that their teachers, they had so much stuff to do, it was very hard for them to organize their schoolwork at home. Especially if you have a job or you have other things that's going on, make sure that you look at your classes, see what it is you have going on every single week and plan ahead. Get those times scheduled so therefore you know when you're gonna work on which classes, when the deadlines are, and when you need to have things turned in, studied, and prepared. Because I will tell you, there's no better feeling than starting a week knowing you already have all of the work done. All you simply need to do is show up. And there's absolutely no worse feeling than the night before something is due or you have a test or there is some big assignment and you don't have anything done and you have to pull an all-nighter and just hope for the very best that you can go and pull it off. And definitely if you are like me, then you have done that before and you've pulled it off and it gives you that false sense that you can do this. But what I've learned, that is just a false sense of security. And the number one thing that you can do to make sure that you're gonna have a successful year this year is to organize your year and make sure you're planning everything ahead. So step number two is going to be to focus. And what I mean by focus, put away your distractions. When you have something that you need to get done, give it all of your attention. And again, I am one of those that just loves to be distracted. If there's a video I have to watch, or if I'm trying to do, you know, watch a TV show, I automatically always want to have my computer, have my phone next to me because I always want to be doing two things at once. So if you are someone like that, especially nowadays with technology, you're used to it. So I totally understand where you are coming from. But if there's one thing that I really took to heart from last year that I took away from teaching away from the classroom is it's all about the focus. At the end of last year, I actually would literally stop to lecturing, give my students five minutes to do whatever they wanted to do with their technology, just so they could get whatever they needed to do, respond to whatever text or email that they needed to. But when I got to the teaching, I needed to command their attention. Because I knew that even though myself likes to be distracted and likes to be doing other things, I am not absorbing the information that I need to do. So now, what do I do when I need to watch something, read something, or do something? I set myself a time and I say, all right, for the next 15, 20, 30 minutes, this is what I'm gonna do and this is what I'm only going to do. And trust me, I have a very, very busy home. I got two little girls that are running around and need my attention. So I need to give them that attention and I only have a little bit of time where I am able to focus mainly when they go to bed or before they wake up. So I need to make sure that I am maximizing my time. Because here's the deal, even though you think you might be learning something as you're doing two or three things at one time, you're not bringing in that attention. And so what happens is you forget what was actually there or you need to rewind it or relearn it or reread it more and more times. And in the long run, you're actually taking more time to digest the information. So the best thing to do is to do it once and do it once with your full attention. And I know it's difficult, especially with distance learning, but do what you gotta do to focus because I know it can be very difficult watching videos on distance learning or showing up to the classroom and giving your teacher that much of your attention. But that's where it comes into the planning. Plan ahead for those times where you can truly focus on what you need to do and then let's get on to step number three. And step number three, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. 
Nobody has ever gone through what you are going through in this moment of time. Nobody can relate to you, nobody can understand what it is to be like to go through school or university in these circumstances. I mean, I can give you the tips, but again, I've never been a student inside of these. I'm only giving you tips based on what I see from a teacher's perspective, as well as from a student's perspective based on my own students inside of the classroom. But I will tell you one thing that has really been bothering me in the last couple years of education is the amount of stress that students are putting on themselves for the best grades, for the competition against other students in their class, for the, the best test scores, and to get into the best colleges. All of that is not a given anymore. We don't know what the next couple years are really going to look like. And to be honest with you, for those of you that are, you know, planning on the next couple of years looking like the last couple of years, it's pretty scary because I don't think it's gonna look like that at all. So a lot of students put on a lot of weight on themselves. There's a lot of stress that they put to getting the best grades. They don't care about learning. They want the best grades. They wanna get into the best school. And even when they get into the best school, they don't care about that. It's all like this game of this ladder of doing this to this to this. And what happens is the students are miserable. They're not fun to be in class. They don't care about the learning. All they wanna do is just get the best grade and get out. And guess what? That system is broken. It's not serving the students, nor is it serving our society. So what's gonna happen? I have absolutely no idea. But all I can tell you is a lot of students are putting so much stress on themselves and they're not enjoying the process of learning. Learning is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be about curiosity. It's supposed to be about making the world better. But if all we're concerned about is grades to get into a school, to get a job, that we don't even know if it's gonna be available to us by the time we get there, I'm not sure if that's the best bet that I wanna make. So what I wanna tell you as you enter this new school year, make sure you become curious. Enjoy the process of learning. Enjoy coming to class. Enjoy being next to your friends. Enjoy the conversations with your parents, your cousins, your family. Enjoy learning new things. And guess what? The best thing about online education, especially distance learning, is there's no restriction to how much you can learn. So, of course, there's always me that one part that says, hey, you know what? This school year is gonna look like nothing that anybody in the past has experienced before. And looking at it that way, that's not right. It's not fair. But you know what? The only opportunity that you have is to make the absolute best out of it. And guess what? None of the people that came before you had that opportunity. So that is my challenge to you. Make this the best year, plan ahead, know when things are due, get every week scheduled, so therefore you can end the week knowing that you accomplished everything you could possibly accomplish. Make sure when you are working on something, it is focused, you're giving it 100% of your attention. You will be amazed by how well you do on certain things, as well as how quick you get them done. And again, one more time, enjoy the process. You're in this school for a reason. You only have this one year to make the best out of it, and that's exactly what I want you to do. Hope you have a great school year. If you're looking for more math tips, check my playlist as the end screen or card, and I look forward to seeing you guys on another video. Cheers.